Hi, I'm Kelsey Brennan Wessels, and in today's special edition of Earth from Space, we're taking a closer look at the International Charter Space and Major Disasters. The Charter provides rapid access to satellite data to help disaster management authorities in the event of a natural or man made disaster. Through the Charter, satellite data were used to create maps and aid rescue efforts following disasters such as the February 2011 earthquake in New Zealand and the March 2011 earthquake and tsunami in Japan. More recently, the Charter was activated in early June when parts of Germany experienced severe flooding. Now with me in the studio today is Jens Denzeglocke from the German space agency DLR, who is also the Charter Secretary. Welcome to the show, Jens. Thank you, Kelsey. Now the Charter has been, exist has been in existence since the year 2000. How many times in these past uh, 13 years has it been activated? It's been activated almost 400 times in this time span, and, and the trend is, is going up. Um, and so what, what we mainly cover is natural disasters such as floods and earthquakes, tsunamis, uh, volcano outbreaks, but also technical disasters such as oil spills. Um, yeah. Great, all right. And now when these disasters occur, the owners and operators of Earth observation missions such as uh, space agencies then provide imagery and maps. Who then uses this information? It's mainly national users, such as civil protection agencies from the countries struck by a disaster, but also users from the United Nations um, working in the regions. Uh, so these are the users of the charter. Yeah. Okay. Now, apart from the United Nations and, of course, the national authorities of the countries that are part of the charter, who else can use this information? Just these countries or anybody? I know it's more than just the charter member countries. We, we work with authorized users because the Charter has to know who, who calls the Charter. Um, and currently there are 40, uh, or there are national users from 40 countries, or 41 countries. Um, and there will be many more in the future, I think, because the Charter agreed on the principle of universal access, as we call it. That means that any national uh, disaster management authority can register with us and become an authorized user. Okay, so to become an authorized user, you have to register online and then you, you start to develop a, a relationship? Yes, yeah, okay. yes, that's necessary. There, there is a, a little training process uh, also. Um, so the, the users should really know how to trigger the charter and what information we need so we can start uh, with our work immediately and do not have to ask back and things like that. Okay, now when a request is made, there's first an emergency on-call officer who analyzes the request and begins to prepare the satellite resources. Then the user will work more closely with the project manager. What is his or her role? It's an important role. The project manager um, embodies the link between the charter agencies, the, the space agencies providing the data, and the user with his needs. So in the end, the user shall be served with, with some products that he really can, can work with. Okay, now is there a cost for all of the service? Uh, no, the idea is, is actually uh, to provide the services or the provide data and data products uh, with no costs. Um, however, the charter is limited to, to the uh, immediate response phase. So we are not providing scientists with data for their research, but um, it's really about sudden onset disasters and help needed immediately. Well, Jens, thank you so much for joining us today. We appreciate it. Thank you very much. And to learn more about the Disaster Charter, you can go to www.disasterscharter.org or to learn more about space and about our planet, visit our website at www.esa.int. From the ESA Web TV Studios, I'm Kelsey Brennan-Wessels.